So today, boys and girls, we are going to be working on measuring or estimating mass in an object. Now, mass is the amount of matter in an object. As you learned in science, everything is made of matter. And so what we're going to be working on today is measuring the amount of mass in an object. And today we're just going to be working on estimating the amount of mass in an object. So we are going to watch our video and that's going to give us some very helpful tips in learning how to estimate the amount of mass in an object. And I'd like you to turn to your page. I want you to turn to page 770 in your math book. And we're going to watch our video and then we're going to stop and discuss. reasoning to estimate math. Let's find out. Math is a measure of the amount of matter in an object. Grams and kilograms are two metric units of mass. What is similar about the words gram and kilogram? So what is similar about those two words that you're noticing that's similar about those two words? What do you notice? Amelia? The kilogram has the word gram in it. Kilogram does have the word gram in it. That is, what is similar about them? The word gram is part of the word kilogram. Stephen and Marissa estimated the mass of an apple. Stephen's estimate is 250 grams. Marissa's estimate is 2 kilograms. Which is the better estimate of the mass of an apple? <coughs> Determine which estimate is better. Step 1. Use known masses and the table to compare grams to kilograms. Which unit will give a better estimate? Select your answer. So which do you think is going to give us a better estimate? So what we're going to do, boys and girls, is we're going to use known, known, masses and the table to compare grams to kilograms. So let's look here. Here are apple mass estimates. So Stephen is estimating that the apple weighs 250 grams. Marissa says it weighs 2 kilograms. So 1,000 grams is equal to 1 kilogram. So here we have a cantaloupe. The cantaloupe weighs one kilogram. Here we have a grape, or an olive, I think that's an olive, and that weighs one gram. We want to kind of figure out, what do you think our apple is going to weigh? What do you think is going to be a better estimate? estimate? Stephen thinks it's going to weigh 250 grams. He wants to weigh it in grams. She thinks it's going to weigh two kilograms. Now here, this cantaloupe weighs one gram. The olive weighs one gram. The apple weighs one kilogram. The olive weighs one gram. She thinks, okay, let's look at their apple mass estimates. Stephen thinks the apple weighs 250 grams. An olive weighs one gram. Marissa thinks the apple weighs two kilograms. Here, a cantaloupe weighs one kilogram. How can we? How can that help us? What are your thoughts? What do you think, Beckett? I I think we should use a gram because the one kil the the um Marissa said um two kilograms, but it's not as big as the the um. This the the cantaloupe? Yeah, and one in it and and I think it's and the one gram equals one olive. So I think it's stepping right. So you think Stevens estimate would be better because you think a gram weighs too much. That's too big of a of a measurement for it. Does anybody else have any other thoughts, or are you agreeing with Beckett? I agree with Beckett. I agree with Beckett. 
So um, who's our eagle of the day? Is Brody? Brody, do you want to come do it for us? So you're going to represent our class consensus that we should weigh that apple in grams. Good. Good job, Beckett. Grams give a better estimate for the mass of an apple. The apple is smaller than the cantaloupe. A kilogram is too large of a unit to estimate the mass of the apple. How do you know that a kilogram is too large? So how did we know that that kilogram is too large? How did we know that? How did we know that that kilogram is too large? How did we know that? Isabella, how did you know that that kilogram um, was too large? It, because it's one kilogram and it says 1,000 grams equal one kilogram. Okay, you know that. What else do you know by looking at this? What do you know? Allie? It says that the antelope equals one gram and compared to the size of the apple, the, the cantaloupe is very, very big. Yes, in comparison, the mass of the cantaloupe is much larger than the mass of an apple. Leah? Um, I, I know that um, the cantaloupe is um, heavier than an apple, and that one kil um, kilogram, then the apple cannot weigh more than the cantaloupe. Yes, that, that apple definitely does not weigh more than that apple. Yes. Or the apple definitely does not weigh more than that cantaloupe, I should say. And yes, Nina? Anybody went like, and cantaloupe and an apple before? And then that there's like a big difference, like for an apple, you can use like one hand, and cantaloupe, and then you can use two hands. Yes, Nina? Yes, Nina? Um, I know that the cantaloupe is heavier than the apple, and that the apple can not weigh more than the cantaloupe. Yes, they are. So we've all had experience with the cantaloupe, so we definitely know that the cantaloupe is going to be a lot heavier than that apple. How many, how many apples do you think it would take to weigh as much as a cantaloupe to make them kind of maybe equal? What is your guess? Maybe like 15 apples. Oh, you think 15 apples? Mm -hmm. That would be a lot. Yeah. I was thinking about 20. 20 apples? That's too much. Oh, I, I, I don't know. That would be an awful lot. Mikey, what do you think? Uh, five. Five, maybe. That would probably be closer to what it would be. Okay. An apple and cantaloupe to make them equal in mass. What do you think, Leah? Um, uh, four. Maybe four to five, I think, would be closer to it, this, the size of it. 20, um, 250 is a quarter of a thousand. Yes. I'm going to say that 20 or 15 maybe would be way too many. Mm -hmm. But then, then it's way more than the size of a cantaloupe. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, yeah, that was very good thinking, boys and girls. The apple looks and feels like it has less mass than the cantaloupe, so it would take a fraction of a kilogram to describe its mass. That would make it easier to use grams to describe the mass of the apple. The grape is smaller than the apple. Grams oh, are great. smaller units that can be used to estimate the mass of the apple. Step two, use a pan balance to find the mass of the apple. Then evaluate Stephen's estimate. The apple has a mass of 262 grams. 250 grams is close to 262 grams. Stephen's estimate is reasonable. 250 grams is a better estimate than two kilograms. <laughs> How many apples would it take to make about one kilogram of math? Oh, we already discussed that. <laughs> Select your answer. Okay, so we decided. How many did we decide, boys and girls? Four, we said five. about four. So let's say four. We decided about four. Four apples like this one would be about one kilogram. If you round the mass of the apple to the nearest 10, it is 260 grams. 4 times 260 equals 1,040 grams, or about 1 kilogram. 
Now you know how to use reasoning to estimate math. the difference in a kilogram and a gram is. So we're thinking a kilogram would be about the size of a cantaloupe or maybe a book. A gram is about the size of a grape, an olive, or maybe this eraser that we have here. So a gram is very small in comparison to the kilogram, which is much bigger. So let's do a little practice together. actual mass. Yes, what do you think, Dina? Um, because like, we like um, almost an exact answer. Like, times any exact answer in the world would have been like full of questions. Okay. What do you think, Leah? Um, kind of want to know you said, like, um, so we know who was So you need to find the mass in grams or kilograms.
Did everybody write that? Yes. 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 boys and girls. Our next question says, use appropriate tools. It says, find an object that you think has a mass more than a kilogram and another that has mass less than a kilogram. Then determine what tools to use to check your estimate. Okay? So, Here's something. What do you think? We have our, our geranium. Do we think our geranium plant has a mass of more than a kilogram or less than a kilogram? What do we think? Would you please tell me, um, Sophia? Probably more than, I think my book would be more than a kilogram. Oh, your book would be for sure. So let's write down, we'll say our plant. Our plant has more. Our plant has more. More. And what would we use? And then I'm going to put a dash. What would we use to measure it? What kind of tool? Nina? Our hands. Oh, would that give us an accurate measurement? <laughs> Amelia? A scale. We would have to use a scale. We would have to use a scale. something that we think would weigh less than, we have to find something that weighs less than a kilogram. What do we have that would weigh less than a kilogram? Four books or four cantaloupes. 
What do you think? Brody? Four kilograms. We call it four kilograms. We don't say four kg. Maybe it's swallowable. Maybe it's swallowable. Maybe it's swallowable. Okay. 40 grams. Sunglasses. How much are sunglasses going to weigh? Are they going to weigh 16 grams or a kilogram? What do you think? Izzy. 16 grams. 16 grams. Otherwise, they'd be too heavy for your face. <laughs> that, well, that would be uncomfortable, right, to have them on your face. Very heavy. Boys and we don't need to laugh, but you have to think about it. Because you have to think your glasses need to be lightweight on your face. An envelope. Sophie, what do you think? How much would a envelope would weigh? Would it weigh 1 gram or 70 grams? Think of the weight of an envelope. 70 grams or one gram? Have you ever picked up an envelope? They're very, very light. They're one gram. They hardly weigh anything in an envelope. So here's what we're going to do, boys and girls. I'm going to have you do 7 through 18. And so every time you're doing it, you need to think to yourself. If it's, you have to get a good visual in your head. I really like the visual of either, you can think about either the grams being the paper clip or the grape or an olive. It's up to you. And you can be thinking about the kilograms being that cantaloupe or maybe a book. It depends on what size book. I like the cantaloupe. So if it says to you 100 grams or 10 kilograms, you could be thinking about 10, 10 cantaloupes. And here you could be thinking about 100 grams and think about the difference. You think to yourself, gosh, does that weigh as much as 10 cantaloupes? Or does it weigh as much as 100 paper clips? And then that will help you, or 10 or 100 grapes. And that'll help you visualize it. Because remember, we're just estimating it. You're just estimating it. We're not doing real measurements here. And this will help us figure out what the better estimate is for these. Then we're going to do number we're going to do um, we're going to do 19 we're going to do 22 and we're going to do 23 and then we're going to check them together boys and girls yes um, no. It will not take you very long to do this. Oh, and 24, sorry, 24. Oh, yeah. Okay. 19, 22, so you're going to do 1 through 18. You're going to do this page and 